So here's a quick tip on how to tone your canvas in the beginning. So grab some red, grab some black, making our dark black color there, add a little bit of yellow. And you just want to make a really warm, this kind of almost looks like a burnt umber or something. You want to make a warm color and you're going to tone your canvas with this. Then just take a little bit of paint thinner and you're just going to wipe it all over the canvas. Now you can kind of see see these edges? This is acrylic gesso and it's kind of gray. You can see here it's actually still soaking in to the, the layer underneath it. And this is going to give you a layer of paint that will help you in a couple different reasons. I just got a paper towel here. And just wipe it down on the entire canvas there. And what this does is it allows you to have kind of a middle gray that's a little bit warm and a little bit brown, right? And that is gonna be able to help you see your lighter value colors and your darker value colors. Now if you want to do this in a in a method that is reminiscent of how they used it during the Renaissance then your shadow areas you're just gonna kind of leave alone. Okay, So often the imprimatura is actually what it's called, this toned canvas, often the shadow colors wouldn't be um, wouldn't be painted in. You'd actually leave the imprimatura, the tone of your canvas, to kind of show some of these these darks. So that used to be kind of the goal. And then you can, of course, go higher. And it's quite easy to work on a, a, a grisai from this, right? So you get your baseline color and then you can start saying, oh, this is lighter, this is darker, right? Um, so that's a, just a, a really simple way how to tone your canvas. All I did was white gesso with a little bit of black in it to get this gray and then mix up this this muddy color, swipe it all over your canva canvas and just wipe it down. Cool. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks.